Her husband, he has three wives. Look at this ring is on her neck. Three She's wifes. the first wife for the husband. The second wife, two rings. The third wife, three. We count the rings on the neck. It's a bullet. Damn. Wife oh. number one. Come here. Wife number two, get the cooking. Wife number three, wash my clothes. Wife number four, get in the bed. Get ready. You you was made for this life, bro. You was made for it. Just the minute you stop denying it, bro. If it ain't medieval Ross, <laughs> which one we gonna get? But <laughs> what's going on, clips? What? What up? What up? What up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen. Another video today. You feel me? All right. We're gonna be checking out uh, an interesting one that uh, Dub had picked himself. By. Well, we don't have to talk about who picked it out, but um, yes, well, we need to give credit where credit uh, is due by Drew Blinsky, the guy that, you know, he be on white person time all the time. He doesn't care how dangerous it sounds. He's going to get the footage for us to view on YouTube. Uh, the video titled The Shocking Life of Africa's Extreme Tribes in Ooh, Ethiopia. Hold on, Ripper. So, y'all y'all wasn't expecting that look, huh? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. A long one time for the one time. This sounds crazy though, man. Um, love, love the uh, the stories and what I've read upon Africa and stuff like that. So for somebody to go out there, I, I definitely want to go. But I definitely feel like you got to go with somebody you know, or mm -hmm. you got to know where you're going. Um, mm -hmm. So it looked like the homie here who's always in danger, like Ross was saying, yep. he went to an extreme part where there's an extreme tribe that probably be on some stuff so he made it back he uploaded the video so at least that's the good part yeah all right well let's get right into somebody this said one. they finna eat him there chill out oh. bro all right man let's get into this these tribes pierce their lips Damn. and scar their bodies as tradition and they don't care what tourists think they take out their tools ethiopia's omo valley is home to the most violent rituals look at her scar i'm trying to figure out how does one's lip get that huge bro how does that happen easy bro what you mean you numb it up and then you know you put the little i don't think that's how it go dub i'm i'm, I'm I hey, go back go back let's let's see the little it, I... yeah like you numb it up no bro that's that's years bro that's like probably like like war type you know yeah. Ethiopia's Omo Valley is home to the most know. violent rituals. Look at her scars on her back. But how have these customs survived over centuries? And what can we learn from them? <laughs> My mission over the next three days is to meet the Lit Plate tribe, see what other body modifications right. I can find, gotta... and attend Damn, a bull got... jumping ceremony. Yeah. Where one boy must pass the test to officially become a man. Everybody's running, so we're running with them. Someone's about to get whipped, literally. Our adventure begins in the city of Jinka. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Road to the Omo Valley. Cold and rainy. All right, we're at a roadblock here because it's pouring rain outside and there's a sinkhole, which means we can't pass. We gotta go all the way. This nigga always in dangerous situations. The weather's never in the you don't wanna live, bro. situation, bro. There's a huge ass sinkhole in front of him. Now they gotta take a detour. It's It's... He's just he's just living out his it's, white dreams. It's kind of racist. But all right. It's February. Yeah, he's living out them white ass dreams. Yeah, go ahead. He's living Speak out his up. white dreams, bro. Only Speak white up. people find themselves in situations like this continuously and keep pressing forward <laughs> for our viewing entertainment. The way back. My God, bro. Yo. What the? F that mug just There's dipped. There's literally a sinkhole in the road. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Oh my God, it's boring. <sighs> Well, that sucks. Hey, y'all going crazy with the hype train. Oh, yeah, bro. Keep running it up. You can do it? Yeah. I think we're trying to go over this. What if the car falls? Holy s***. This is Kali. He will be our guide as we navigate the treacherous roads to the Omo Valley. I'm so happy to be back exploring Ethiopia, one of two oh, African back. nations to never be colonized by a European power. This means the cultural Badoo. traditions of the Omo Valley remain untouched yeah. and the greenery is bursting with tribal diversity. Indiana's making friends already. <laughs> Driving on some bumpy roads to the Mercy Tribe, a tribe I visited seven years ago and 
stuck in my head is one of the most fascinating cultures I've ever seen. So we're on our way now and the adventure begins. Well, it's nice. The Mercy Tribe are a group of nomads who live and breathe livestock. Today, there are only about 12,000 members remaining. While they Poor do goat. welcome tourists, I tread lightly as an outsider because I really want to show you what the yeah, women look you know like better. and how they've kept the custom of hanging clay plates from their lips for centuries. I've traveled all the way to Tokyo to share something very special with you. These brand new Soundcore Space One yeah. headphones. Oh man, getting the, getting the ad rails. Getting the ad rails while he out in Africa. Yeah. That's how you do well, it. Well, he was in another country here. Oh, well, yeah. Ad, and, you know, he really yeah. flexing on us. Loki. Loki. <laughs> he really flexing on us. I got an ad that I filmed in another country, but I'm going to put it in a video that's filmed in another country. In another country. Yeah, yeah that's all right. All right. We get you, bro. Hey, make your money. We ain't mad at it. We ain't Light work. Light work. Slight, slight work. Slight work. Yeah. He's looking Appreciate at the subscription. Riley. Green here. Very nice. <laughs> <In> the... <laughs> They're doing that traditional song and dance now. Hold on, Tell me now. about the process of when you yeah, started uh, putting the, yeah. the plate in. When she starting, it's uh, like very painful, and even she crying, you know. And yeah. it was like a lot of like uh, yeah, bleeding. sure. What is the reason why you choose your lips? She said it's our tradition, our culture. For wedding, she need to do it, you know. Otherwise, she will not also get a good husband. How does it make you feel when you wear it? She feel uh, like a proud. She feel like her tradition and culture. So she feel like a proud. She said. That shit look like it hurt. Is it like such as I feel pain? Uh, actually, happy. She's oh. very happy. Yeah. Actually. Mm, actually. Mm. And also they take out their tooths. Oh yeah. my god. Uh -huh. so I help them to get the good accent. As soon as a mercy girl turns 15, her lip is cut and a small oh. wooden stick is inserted. Over a few years, the gap is stretched. Wait, 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 bro. You can't do Oh, get on something else, please. Oh, jeez. Happy. She's oh. very happy, yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, they take out their tooth here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I help them to get the good <laughs> accent. Also. As soon as a mercy girl turns 15, her lip is cut. Bro. As soon as they turn 15? That's Damn. Her lip. That's her lip, y'all. This this part right here, the bottom part, that's it. Somebody said I smell demonetization. Nah, this is uh This, this is, is a culture. Yeah. This is, this this is, is a culture. Is, and this is educational. Holy man. Cut and a small wooden stick is inserted. Over a few years, the gap is stretched and the front teeth are removed to fit heavy clay plates, which are Did you go back? as big as a basketball. The meaning of the plate symbolizes the woman's bit. fertility. The larger it is, the more cattle her husband will bring as a wedding gift to her father. Wow. In the normal time, they hang it like this, you know? So when they have like the ceremony, uh, something, they put the plate. So they can eat, they can drink, huh? they can work their works. Like before they do from a wood, now they do from the plate. Clay. Yeah, clay. What kind of things make you happy? <laughs> uh, we like to have a lot of cutters and uh, to have a lot of uh, wives and to respect the village, you know. A, it's cool to see a lot of wives. I'm stuck on the goddamn plate. Like, that. that's... You want a lot of cattle so they can be stretching their lip more and more and more. Hey, that's a culture. I'm, I ain't, I'm not knocking the, the, you know... Just, boy, <laughs> it's, you know, beauty. Great. Yeah, man. It ain't about the, the dollars out there. It's about the cattle. It's about how, how big that plate is in your... Yeah, in your man. Room. Fuck a BBL. Show me that plate lip. Yeah. Where them thick plate lips at? Shake that plate lip, girl. All right, I want to eat off that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Serve me a dinner off your plate lip. Your dinner's ready. So I know it's real. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> The positive sides of tourism, it's bringing a lot of money into these people. They sell the clay lip plates, which is pretty cool. And we're going to buy some right now. Oh, so yeah, that's pretty heavy. What do you have? How oh, much? Wow. Four dollars. Okay. I'll buy this one. Well, obviously, it's been rainy and muddy, so there's not a lot of activity happening right Damn. here. But it is pretty surreal to be here. Got the home. And we're going to buy some you right now. Money Man, that's pretty heavy. No, I did. And then I seen them barefoot. Like, Four dollars. Okay. It. I'll buy this one. 
Well, obviously it's been rainy and muddy, so there's not a lot of activity. The white boy Adventure Sevens is all destroyed, bro. Look at that. Mm, I like the title. Look at that knot. It gotta that's, be tied that's the, tight. That's that commercial white. tie, bro. Like when you getting What's going the, on the adventure, man. When you getting the ads, that's them tie. That's that type of tie. Be happening around here, but it is pretty surreal to be here and, and see their homes. Feet. And their homes are just little huts for sleeping, know for cooking, and for shelter. Just interesting interactions with the Mercy. It's like the lip plates are something that you'd never expect to see, and it's really cool that the traditions are still being carried out today. I'd be naive to tell this story without confronting the ethics of tribe tourism, because it's my duty to be transparent as a travel journalist. About 15 years ago, tourists started coming to the Omo Valley, and the meeting of cultures continues to cause disruption to Mercy lifestyle. But don't get me wrong, Mercy people want tourism, as they openly explain. They can charge a lot of money for it. When you get money, your lifestyle will be easier. All in all, I tipped about $1,500 just to capture content over three days. Damn. These funds will go towards clothes, medicine, and food, but I'm also told that it may support their substance abuse. When you visit Sub-Saharan Africa, always try to be aware of where your dollars are going. We are now entering the big marketplace here in the Omo Valley where all the different tribes in the area come together and they hang out, they sell things, they drink beer. Let's go check it out. Hey, I was just telling him, I'm you look at that today. It's I met him not... in the Omo Valley six years okay, ago, but he doesn't remember me, again. sadly. <laughs> I'm here with Shello from the Bena tribe wow. and he is taking me around the market here. I can't forget that face. I mean, I'm Shello. I said, uh, I thought that he ran into him again. The same dude. Yeah, he, you know, I see, many, I see many white men. <laughs> Your English got a little better, man. Oh, a lot yeah, of thanks, practice. Man. Oh, <laughs> a Just in this market we get, we have three tribes. Benna, Hammer, and Tamai tribes. I think look at now the hairstyle. She's not married. Uh, okay. She's a married and they are not married. Kasha, kasha, kasha. Kasha, kasha, kasha. Kasha, kasha. She's the one that ain't married, right? That's meaning like yeah. for them, like a ring. When we are married, we use the ring on our finger. That's meaning for them. This is the shelf of the coffee. People that drink all of Inamo Valley, they drink the shelf of the coffee like the a tea. It's amazing. Is it like she lying. What you thought it would be? Look at that. Did you see that pause? Go back. You seen the pause? This is the shelf of the coffee. People that drink all of Inamo Valley, they drink the shelf of the coffee like a tea. It's amazing. Is it like yeah, she says. Nigga, it's amazing. Pa she paused. She was like, "It's, it's amazing." You know? Yeah, you know, it, it took her, you know, a few seconds to witness, you know, the overwhelmingness of culture being, you know, around her and stuff. It, it's amazing, you know. What I'm saying, amazing. <laughs> like, what you it she it. It's so cool because they come from different yeah. tribes, so it's so cool seeing them come together. She don't feel yeah, safe. Y'all are stupid. Like we almost got hit by. See, nigga, the truth what coming explained out. What actually true. Some people the like the camera and they smile, and some people don't. We make sure to give tips to everyone, four to five dollars, just for a photo or a video. So we're just uh, trying to enjoy. It. This lady's happy. She's smiling. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay. So run that money, white man. Hey yo. She just whipped out a chicken and like the wings of the bird hit my hand. These shoes are made from car tires. Basically, take the tire, they shred it up, and then durable, lasts forever. But but these things are really not the fucking Michelin Man tire sandals. Yeah, yeah, them hoes. You, what, what can we do with the rubber tires? Damn, the Michelin Man tire. I mean, a that's sandal. smart. That's crazy. Give me them Firestone sandals. Yeah, bro. You be them good gear set. You be running for days. What? <laughs> the Michelin yeah. Sandal ones. Oh, you be you be running for days in them bad boys, man. <laughs> Not the crossroad <laughs> shoes. <laughs> man, that's crazy. Cool, they're masks, they're chairs, they're clay sculptures. What I love about the tribes here is that they're hustlers. They're creative, they make things, they have stuff that they sell. We're actually gonna buy a piece right now for our house and ship it. Hopefully we can get it home from Addis Ababa. 100 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, do it. So, I think it's worth a hundred bucks. You think so? Yeah. Is. This is wild. We found a bar here. That's the sign for the local beer. Yeah, for local beer. And we get inside. Hell no, nah, bro. No, no. Oh, she has a chicken. Hey, um, it's the damn chicken. Hey, they ain't got hey. no seats. Yeah, bro. I'm. They just in that hole. Like, nah, bro. I'm drinking liquor from. 
fucking, I don't know what they drinking it from, actually. <laughs> and I'm black, and I wouldn't. <laughs> These helmets that the Bena women are wearing actually double down as bowls for eating and drinking beer. They make the local beer. It's called the parcel. These niggas use their hats. You've been sweating all thinking. day and, and... Me and that hoe. Hold on, let me get some of that. Get some of that beer, ring. Go on, pull me I up. Appreciate you. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> That's like I use my hat as a fucking a bowl. Hey, man, pull me up some of that good food, man. I am supporting my fellow blacks, man, but I'm just not rocking with the inside. Like, let's drink outside. You know what I'm saying? Well, and they make uh, from mess hey, look, for them there. by fermenting, you know? And it's a beer. They use for both purposes, like a food and alcohol. And it tastes really bad. I don't understand Whoa, nothing he's saying. Very sour. They take water from here, from the river. That water cannot be clean. Yeah. Water, they boil it. They ain't got no other choice but to Oh, at least they boil it, yeah. It don't matter if you boil it if you're drinking it from a dirty ass container. We go. <laughs> you can boil it all day. And you put it right back in a contaminated container. <laughs> you might as well just not boil it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said rice wine. Rice oh, wine better. Oh, this oh. guy, look <laughs> what you hold. You see this one? Yeah, you see all that? man, they hold this one like a chair and like a pillow. She's from Benna Travis. Wow. Her husband, he has three wives. Look at this ring is on her neck. Three She's wifes. the first wife for the husband. The second wife, two ringers. The third wife, three. We found the ringers on the neck. It's a bullet. Damn. Wife oh. number one. Come here. Wife number two, get to cooking. Wife number three, wash my clothes. Wife number four, get in the bed. Get ready. You you was made for this life, bro. You was made for it. Just the minute you stop denying it, bro. If it ain't medieval, Ross, <laughs> which one we gonna get, but... This your vibe, bro. This your vibe. We found it. We found your vibe. Uh, <laughs> Ross would have joined the tribe now. Nah, man. I just thought that was very interesting. Low That's key. all. <laughs> Ross would key. have four wives. Okay. All right, man. All we right. got him. All right, man. Blueberry Ross. She's Why do you have a bullet? She put a bullet because she's from the warrior. From the warrior. Like a warrior husband shop, you know? She had a husband, only one wife. She don't put anything else. That's cute. <laughs> Beautiful. Conscious not to overstay she don't know my what's welcome, going on. I soak up my last impressions of the market, and we hit the road again to drive four hours deeper into the Omo Valley. Damn. The stakes are high as we continue to search for the bull jumping ceremony, which happens Whoa. only a few times a year. After a long drive, we are making it to another village to spend the night. The weather has really cleared up. It's beautiful outside. Hi. Hello. Hey, now, hey, what's good? All right, what's going down? Going to my hotel. On my hood. Holy crap. I'm just here enjoying my banana. The thousands of cows on the road. We've made it to a beautiful place, Hammer Tribe, near the border of Kenya and South Sudan. You can see goats behind me. You can see the cows. That kid coming. was fast. People are out and about. Huh? The sun is setting. Somebody said that kid was running kind of fast. Beautiful moment out here. Mm -hmm. Hi. The Hammer Tribe has about 60,000 members remaining, and they're known for their beautiful hairstyles, colorful beads, and scarification of their body. Is it real? Yeah, real with a razor. It's a scar. Uh, it takes to heal like many days to heal. They are nomads Ooh. who live in small huts with their cattle, similar to the lifestyle of the Mandara Real tribe tats. that I showed you just yeah. over the border in South Africa. <laughs> their entire economy, diet, and social status relies on cows. Is that important for many things, like, you know, who sell them and get money? and to survive, you know, buy a lot of different things. Tell me about um, the life here. I love it. When we work, we work, wake up early morning, the first thing we do is a coffee ceremony. We have it like frying and we... Yeah, we have like prayers and we bless the children. children. And for everyone we pray, then we go with the cutters to the... Oh, what time does that happen? Uh, around 6. I think we're sleeping yeah. here, so if I come back at 6 a.m., I can see the coffee ceremony together. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. 
All right, the sun have is no problem just about too. to set. Absolutely. We are going to head to our guest house, which is just down the street from here. In Tane, wa in Chen. And be back early morning for the coffee ceremony that the guy was telling me about. And just taking in the beautiful, incredible Omo Valley. One of those moments I'm just having just to be grateful for everything. Grateful for the life that I live grateful to be able to travel and especially grateful to have the opportunity to document stories like this and put it on social media and have it be seen hey, by wow. people around the wait, world. Wait, was that, that a, uh, a... That was a hyena, bro. That was a, a hyena. That was a like pet. That put on social... Yep. Nigga, that's a... That's a hyena, bro. Hey, man. Why you think he got the platinum white person card? Come on, now. <laughs> Look how scared he is, though. Like, see? Doesn't that's that matter. shit. Fear don't matter to him. He got that platinum <laughs> white That ain't person. no damn dog. Platinum <laughs> white person visa. He can go anywhere and do anything because I guess what? I can do anything. <laughs> Holy, bro. That's what is a, he protected by? Because Nothing. Bro. That's it. All The only thing he's protected by is uh, his ambition to uh, pursue the white people's privilege. <laughs> Bro, if that, if that hyena wanted to, he could just kill him. All right. <laughs> That's a, hey, bro, we don't got that, that card. We don't have that card. I'm sorry. Social media and have it be seen by millions of people around the world. It's incredible. Signing off for tonight, me and the chickens and the lovely kids here. <laughs> My life flat before his eyes. Oh, we'll see that. you in the morning. Good night. I just woke up to that sound. Chanting. It's the whisper. And yes, these are the amazing huts that we slept in last night. This is Eco Lodge. Fantastic. I can't wait to go see what's going on. This morning is not I'll just any morning whisper. because I right. woke up to the great Well, it probably didn't want to disturb the prayer ceremony me. tonight, but it's at the other end of the Omo Valley. Yeah. I can already sense a crazy energy in the air. But first. Coffee. It's this so beautiful cool out there. Though. It is mm -hmm. in the morning. I'm in a hut with the Hammer Tribe. They're drinking coffee. We're hanging out. I'm sitting on these tiny chairs. What a moment this is. <laughs> I couldn't even do it. I need about two of them. Oh, basically, you can't be obese in the mud. Yeah, over there. No. Mm -hmm. I need about two of them, like three. You can't be obese out there, man. I need to be comfortable. Damn, no obese. <laughs> One for each cheek. <laughs> Somebody said that's a butt plug. Hey, yo. He said just out here. Look how he's trying to rotate the bowl. He ain't slick. He's washing his hands with coffee. Okay. Just, just sound about right. A few flies just flew by. Check that inland, fire chicken, man. Where the bull jumping takes place. We just arrived in a village. They have a very special ceremony going on. Yeah, this, you know, now they are very close family, so they are giving their happiness uh, that uh, man changed uh, from childhood to the adults, you know. So after that, he can protect his village, he can be a warrior, uh, like, uh, like a man. As we are quickly finding out, the bull jumping ceremony is way more than just jumping over bulls. What the hell is she doing? I, I just know what the hell that was. She know if she wants to do a flip or stand straight back up. If you don't get your goofy ass. Who is that? That's the person that's rode with uh, uh the homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He no, I know. I just I was trying to see if he mentioned who she was to him. Yeah, I don't I don't know, but she and somebody that. said Ling Ling go back home. She looks like she's having fun though. This is a different now. Nah, this is a real Someone reaction. Said outside that's of his wife. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what's up. So hey, respect, Ross. Um the fuck? My statement still stands. Get your goofy ass about it. Alright, man. He's gonna get one of the little Ethiopian homies to come in. <laughs> they gotta catch me first. Oh, they gotta <laughs> catch you, bro. Hey, load that little you. pipe up. They gotta catch you. I'm you out. You out of there. They gotta, you be walking randomly you. just I catch me, man. I ain't walking. I'm walking where? I don't walk nowhere. You what? drive with your window down sometime. <laughs> but they ain't gonna catch oh, me. That's it, boy. I'm telling you, you know what I'm They ain't gonna catch me, bro. You be like seeing them make them warriors with the little They gotta catch me first. I don't think you understand. <laughs> I, 
Yeah, they After the like, women you got red lights. And dancing, we <laughs> head into the boat together where we are offered all the beer that we can drink. We are inside the little hut, which is where all the beer is stored. All beer, local beer. Oh, wow. Damn. This one? She just picked it up. Whoa, that's the beer? Yeah, that's what is the that? other. Sorghum. Then look, this one mixed with hot water. Well, how long yeah. do they take to, to brew that? Uh, months. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I can't believe you just tried that. This is so cool. Just sitting here, and members of the Benny tribe, these ladies, came and sat right next to us and started singing. <laughs> more and more people are filling in. She's getting lit now. She getting lit yeah, now. All she needed yeah. was one cup. One cup. Bro, of did that you cup. see that shit that she picked up? Like, yeah, I don't, that was that was the goop scoop. <laughs> <laughs> right, bro. And then that's everybody crazy. say stuff tastes like beer. Hell yeah, no, nah, man. Yeah, that's crazy. No. And for the big celebration, pretty cool to witness this. Yeah, man, great time. <laughs> I thought she was gonna grab my camera, but she started dancing. I'm like, all right, bro, all right, get her back up a little bit with your horn, miss. They love you here. These ladies behind us are cooking food for everybody at the ceremony. Uh, this one, they make uh, like a bean, you know, like the kidney bean. They boil it, and after they mix with the dry porridge. They are very lucky family of the jumper. So they serve the people. I think they love Deanna because first they whipped her into dancing and now she's cooking with them. <laughs> Bring it around. Little does Deanna know that the food she is cooking is very much an acquired taste. I bet it is. Look how they look at me. Look at my lady to the left. You see the lady on the left side? Mm -hmm. She doing the, the look with her like, huh? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Very good. Man, anybody hit the? Oh yeah. Mm. If they doing that, eyes. yeah, it's it's probably not. It's a, a acquired taste. It's, co it's coming around town already. <laughs> Danny, you can spit it out. This is so cool. Pass People up. are starting to come in as the sun he is going stupid, down. Though. He ain't stupid though. He ain't trying shit. Everyone's drinking, and we've been here for three hours now, so people are feeling more comfortable with us. And Spending time with us and joking around. You play with me. It's amazing. You're about to jump. How are you feeling? He's nervous. He feel nervous. Yeah, because I mean, what you think? I'm about down, to jump around the family along cattle. Fun. It's almost time for the ceremony, but before the big event, friends of the bull jumper compete to see how high they A can bull jump. Jump. <laughs> oh, Whoever that was, the second one, they ain't gonna make it. Everyone's like tribal, and then he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's now the ladies are gonna get whipped to show their love for the jumper. Who's the whipper? Who's the whipper? You said whipped. This is crazy. Everybody's pushing, screaming. They're grabbing me. Look at her scars on her back. Mm. Nah, I don't love the village that much. Too crazy. I gotta move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. As intense as this scene gets, remember that every woman here gave consent to being whipped to pay respect to the bull jumper. It's a tradition that has existed here for a very long time, but not as long as this voodoo ritual, which is about to bring good luck to the contestant. All right. Everybody's running, so we're running with them. They're having a good time. Yeah, they live. It's parade in my city, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm good, bro. The people, uh, uh, people getting uh, uh, whipped. Uh, I heard whipped. I heard voodoo. It's parade in my city, yeah. <laughs> I heard whipped and voodoo. I'm out. Like, it's like this. <laughs> the jump is about to happen right now. Everybody's running. Oh, my God. I must step on a gun. Probably a good idea not to step on that, right? Oh, 
There must be 500 people here right now. What the hell is going on? This is the craziest shit I've ever seen. Right, bro. Ain't no way to contain them. They don't got them gated up, tied down, or nothing. They just sitting out there. Damn, bro. Fucking random AK on the floor. My trip will be over. They do that shit butt ass naked too? Yeah, I was wondering like, wait, it wasn't registering to me. These niggas running on top of cows butt ass naked in front of 500 plus people. <laughs> While everybody's yes. cheering them on. Yeah! Go ahead that, and do it! Bro. Someone said Drake would love this. All right. Like, dog. All right, bro. I'm, All right, bro. All right, all right bro. I'm confused. And just like that, the bull jumper officially becomes a man and is able to get married. The wow. Omo Valley is truly one of the most special places on Earth. Jump a few so bulls. you were here to witness it with me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey man, that was a good yeah, one. V yeah, very yeah, informative, yeah. man. That was um. <laughs> that he was finna get four wives now, as someone said. Yeah, man, he about to be wifed up. You feel me? Because he ran across them bulls and he didn't fall. That's all that matters. That's so. wild, bro. Some of the wildest things. If people like him wouldn't go and document, or you wouldn't have books on this stuff, you just wouldn't know people actually live. Like mm -hmm. this, but they enjoying it. This is something that they used to. But yeah, they lost me at the voodoo too. It was the it was <laughs> the voodoo and the AK and the the, the the whatever that shit was in that bucket. It wasn't no damn beer. I don't know what that <laughs> was. But hey, anywho, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do, man. Make sure you run up the like, subscribe. Let us know if you want us to check out some more. Keep on sending us your ideas. If y'all loving the go. content that we've been doing, um, let us know. Let us know what else we need to check out that's informative and, and pretty cool. So. We love you. Continue to spread love. Be love. Catch you in the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.